so now let's proceed to our topic SQL delete statement. So the delete statement is used to delete existing records in a table. Okay. So in our example here, we have the syntax delete, okay, and keyword from the table name. Okay, so in our case we have customers as the table, where and condition. Okay, so let's apply this. Okay, so delete from customers, which is the name of the table. Okay, this one. Where condition. Okay, where customer name, that is the field in our table, is equal to Alfred's water guys. Okay, so what we wanted the program to do is that we want the record to be deleted with the customer name Alfred's water guys. Okay, so let's run it. And customers. Okay, so now there is no Alfred Potter Keist or Alfred's Potter Keist in this new table because we have deleted it. Okay, so now let's apply it to our own program. First, we have to create a new file. Let's name it delete employee.php. Okay, so in the delete employee.php, we have to trigger this link, meaning we have to click this link in order for us to delete this entire record. Okay, so what we're going to do first is that we're going back to index.php and we have to name the reference. Okay, so where are we going to reference it? Okay, so we have created the delete employee the page b okay so let's say href go to delete um employee the page b okay next parameter is it's going to look for the delete id okay. delete id would be equal to okay so the get request Look for the variable employee ID. Okay, and save. So this is the parameter. Every time I click delete on a particular row, it would activate the codes inside our delete employee the page B, which we are yet about to do. Okay, so in here. Okay, so let's just type here require a database HP. Okay, so again require once. Okay, so our database includes from our includes folder call the database that page b and then close okay so what we're going to tell the program to do is that okay find the id first okay so let's say if is set okay so what is set okay so the get request delete ID okay so what is this delete ID okay so this one here okay so our delete ID so let's say echo delete ID okay. save and let's say here 
Okay, so it's good. Okay, so it identifies that we want to delete the third record and it has found the request delete ID, meaning it's set, it's all set. Okay, so let's delete this one and just refresh. Okay, so let's say ID or we're going to assign this into a variable. Okay, let's call this just ID. Okay. So let's query again. So let's say delete from default employees okay or employee okay where m id Okay, so that is the name of the field here in our table. Okay, is equal to this ID. Okay. Let's put it in a variable. Okay. Then let's say my SQLI query Okay, call the connection and this query. Okay, and then let's assign this into a variable. So let's call it um, delete employee query. Okay, and checking okay. if not this query okay so if there's a problem with the query then type query failed okay. and concatenate my SQLI error and connection okay. Okay, else let's echo um, employee record okay with this ID deleted and close okay let's check okay, so here okay our mining ranger delete the simpler record for deleted Add some more records. Add employee. Let's say um, um, Alba Jessica. Okay, mm. and another one. Okay, so we have added two more records and we wanted to to delete. 
some of the records here. So let's go back to our code and I'll just have to delete this first. Okay, so instead of using this one, this echo, we can also use a JavaScript code. So I'm just comment this one. Okay, so let's say echo okay, and use script again. script and closing script. Okay. So inside the script, let's say alert um, employee information or employer record with this ID is deleted. Okay. This alert is like a message box okay so you will see later okay so alert employer record with this id okay so is deleted okay so window and location reference so still in index dot php And let's say um, after that, just exit. Oops, where is the closing? No, 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 no. Close this one and closing. I should be here. Okay, save. And let's try refresh and let's delete Jessica Alpha. Okay, so employer record 5 deleted. Okay, so now there's no Jessica Alpha here. Okay, so what we wanted to do now is to add functionalities in this trap down link, but as of now, we cannot <laughs> really use this because, because it's not properly coded. <clears throat> okay, so when I click this one, it does not activate. It's because we need to have a link to an online reference for Bootstrap. Okay, let's go again to Bootstrap. And documentation. And PowerJS. PowerJS. No, 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 this one. Okay, so this bundle which we wanted to copy, okay, so it includes everything we need in the script and it also includes popper but not jQuery. <coughs> we need this one because you know we want to activate that drop down menu. So just copy and go back to your code. And let's say at index.php, let's paste it here. Let's name it um, Bootstrap Online. Okay, save and go back to index of PHP and see we have activated it. Okay. okay so later in the course I will just show you how we can just have one header so that we will not um, put these codes one by one on each page. We will just you now call the header and the rest of the pages will just follow but for now we are just going to use this okay so add employee so that you would know how this actually works index update 
Okay, right here. Okay. And save. Okay, going back to index.php, you should look for these um, links. Okay, so to action is just right here. Okay. So if you're in doubt where you can find it, just inspect element and say here it's it's a drop down link. Okay, and it tells us that it has drop down items such as actions, another action, and something else here. So maybe we can change this action into like add a player record. Okay, I'll just demo one link and href. Where can we find it? Okay, so you look of um, in your file where can you find the add employee and it's of course here in add employee that page b add employee dot page b and it's underscore okay so save and refresh oops close this one refresh and let's say add employee okay so it transfer us here okay so maybe we can make this link um into something where we can click and would lead us back into our home page okay, so where is it eis eis here okay, let's say this is index that page and also this home here You can change it in all other pages, but again, as I have said, um, we can design our, or we can also manage our files so that we can only have one header for all of the website so that it would not be difficult for us to like edit all the pages, but we only have to modify one page. So in add, let's say here, index, oops, index that page B and also in here. Oops, dogs are barking because it's already late at night. Okay. So going back to let's click EIS and it leads us back to index and here say add employees and so on. But so I hope you have learned something from our CRUD tutorial. Okay, CRUD stands for again create, read, update, and delete. So that is like the most basic thing which we have to learn in PHP because most of the management projects would revolve around CRUD. Okay, so thank you so much and have a happy time learning. Bye!